Guys, Jason here with Prime Collectibles for another statue review. Uh, today we have, uh, well, first of all, I should say that today we're again uh, filming out of my buddy's office, uh, which is um, uh, where I store all my boxes. So he's been nice enough to let me review out of uh, out of his office here because uh, it's too much of a pain in the ass to bring a lot of these boxes that I have in storage all the way to my place, review them, then bring them all the way back. So uh, he let me do them out of here. So that was nice of him. Um, so today we are going to be reviewing the PCS Kami, the one third Kami that was just released and uh, super excited about it. So let's start with the, the boxes here. So regular Prime 1 box, fairly large, but just one box like most of the Prime 1 uh, one third pieces. Um, pretty straightforward packaging. Again, I love these. I love these uh, straps the PCS now uh, uh, packages their pieces with. Just adds a bit of premium feel to uh, to the statues. There's no um, instructions manual that I've seen, um, but what it did come with is the little card of authenticity, certificate of authenticity, 280. The hell is that? 282 out of 350, I guess. I can't even tell. Oh, interesting, 350, that's not a lot of statues. So that's fun. So there's only 350, 350 of these that have been made. There are a few versions of them, but I went for the uh, the uh, OG Kami version. So without further ado, let's have a look. Packing in the back. Nice. Really awesome. Really, really awesome. I apologize if you hear some sort of white noise in the background. Uh, my buddy's mining bitcoins back here. <laughs> I think I don't know what this is, but anyways. Um, so let's take a look at her. First of all, I should say that I've been waiting for a good Kami statue for a while. PCS have done a few other ones in the one fourth scale, and I just really haven't been happy with them. Um, they're either too dynamic, not really what I was looking for in a Kami statue, and, and the face to me hadn't quite nailed it. Uh, and then they released, or sorry, then they announced that they're doing this one fourth, uh, one third scale piece, and I saw the prototypes and I was just like, damn, that's, what the, that's the one I want. I'm not a huge fan of mixed media, but this is a case of mixed media done well, in my opinion. Could they have done it without mixed media? Yes. Would I have liked it more? Honestly, probably. But again, it's not distracting for me. Um, so yeah, I'll live with it. Here's her, let's turn her around here. This is her uh, victory pose right here. I'm sure this is how they intended it to be shown. Where she kind of sticks her hips out to the side, shows her so she's a G-string there and looks over her shoulder. Uh, yeah, that's the pose. All right, but now let's look around her. So the base is um, the base is my least favorite part of this. I don't think it's that fantastic. I don't think any of these one-third scale uh, bases have been fantastic, but kind of like Prime 1, the base isn't really what you're looking at here, so it's not the end of the world. But I don't know if this is supposed to be bricks or what, but it certainly doesn't look like it. Well, it's supposed to be stones, probably, but it doesn't really look like stones. This quote-unquote moss doesn't really look like moss. I don't know. The Chun-Li base was pretty interesting with that sort of bridge look. Um, and even... even um, reuse base was kind of interesting with the grass bits and stuff i think this is my least favorite of the uh, one third scale bases that i have so far i don't have um sagat just because i don't care as much about him as a character even though i do love muay thai uh but yeah this base is not that interesting the stones on the top actually look a little bit better but I don't know. They're okay. Whatever. It is what it is. It's not why I bought the statue. Bought this for her. And when we look at her, she looks good. Shoes are cool. Has kind of a, a leather look to it. Almost a faux leather look. Uh, 
and then it's uh, kind of the laces don't really look like laces but that's okay maybe they're supposed to be leather laces going up to the cuff you know with with all of these um pcs street fighter statues i kind of i'm a little bit more forgiving when it comes to details because they're based on you know video game character models that are sort of stylized and um and aren't really supposed to look super realistic so that's all right got the red socks poking out underneath the boots that's cool skin's done well ass is done really well nice chunky ass just like cami should have some extra time went into the molding of this you can tell this is Street Fighter's ass right here. Gauntlets look cool. Again, not, not a ton of um, a, a difference in the colors along these. There's very little hints of, of color difference in here, but generally speaking, it's fairly flat color, but I mean, that's what the character models are like, so it's understandable. Uh, just get some of the dust off there. In the skin, there's a little bit of freckling, which is kind of nice. Gives it a little bit of a realistic look while still looking kind of cartoony. Uh, the definition in the muscle looks good. Now uh, here's where we get to the um, to the, the mixed media, to the fabric, and I just again it doesn't really bother me, but I just it could look better in my opinion if you sculpted it. It just takes me out a little bit. So this piece, I actually couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure out why there was like a little triangular indent on one of her boobs. And then I realized that this piece actually just uh, magnets right on. Looks like she has kind of puffy nipples. And here she is from the front. The uh, camo padding, pattern, patterns. God, there we go, patterns on her. Are just bas basically painted on, on. There's no um, texture to them, but that's probably the way it should be. Looks nice. cami has got some hairy legs. Just gotta blow that off. She just came out of the box. So she looks good from every angle. Um, certain angles definitely look better, though. You can tell that the sculpt was made for certain angles. Definitely the 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 ass angle that I showed you earlier. Um, directly from the front, it looks okay, it looks a little bit awkward, but that's okay because it's not meant to be displayed from every angle, I don't think. Uh, come on, come on, focus, there. Again, gloves are nice, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of texturing, as you can see. Um, and then we get up to the head. Uh, this, I don't know how it's meant to be displayed. It was down here, but I pushed it up just because I wanted it to cover that nasty seam line. So I think it's probably meant to be somewhere in the middle, but this looks fine how it is now. Now we get to her portrait and PCS did a bit of a change to her portrait uh, paint application. Um, it was looking a little bit even more cartoony and then they kind of showed some uh, early prototype paints that, that kind of had it looking a little bit more realistic. Um, I think what we ended up with is something in the middle, and I think it looks good. I think it looks really good. It's a very nice cami portrait. Nice big eyes, those sort of sharp eyebrows pointing down, the little scar on her face. I think that looks really good. Um, what I was going to mention is her little um, beret does have uh, some some actual sculpting to it has some texture as you can see, which is nice. Her little uh, symbol on the top there. I don't remember what this is. I know she was part of Interpol. Oh shit, look at that. Guess what I missed? Her bangs, I guess they're still in the box there. Well, imagine that she has bangs on guys, sorry about that. Now where the ponytail attaches in the back here, there are seam lines. I don't know if, if this is going to be subjective. I don't really think it's that noticeable, especially if you're looking at her back from, you know, where you would like this. But if you look in closely, you can certainly see it there. On this side, it's even more noticeable. I 
tried pushing it in as far as I could. And see right there, that doesn't look very good. It looks like they, they kind of screwed up the sculpt and had to putty in a little piece. That's not very professional in my opinion. Now the lucky thing is, are you ever gonna be seeing that? Probably you're gonna be showing her like this or like this. I like, I like that look a lot, kind of the over, over the shoulder looking at you like this. I think that's a good look and you'll never see that, uh, that little piece, but it still is pretty freaking unsightly once you see it. So that's definitely a knock on the statue. But my overall impression is I really love her. I think she's gonna look awesome in my Street Fighter collection. Uh, she, was, she was a much needed piece uh, to sort of uh, complete my, uh, my favorite characters. You know, Ryu, Chun-Li, uh, Kami, uh, Ken, uh, I have Akuma now, and, and there are some others as well that I'd like to get. Um, so, is she going anywhere? Definitely not. She's a sexy, she is a sexy piece. She's a well sculpted piece. She looks good, but uh, when you get up close, there are certainly some unsightly things. The base doesn't look all that fantastic, like I showed you. That area where the hair piece meets definitely isn't nice. Let me just see, where are her bangs? Maybe they're down here? Oh, here they are. Let's see if we can put these on right now. It's interesting because when I saw pictures of her, I thought that she, like her, her ponytail, her hair looked a lot more yellowy, but now in person, it's looking pretty, uh, pretty, pretty brown. I'm assuming that this just goes in like this. And this one, sorry guys, I'm trying to film this and do it at the same time. This one goes in like that. Is that right? Must be. Okay, anyways, there it is. Her bangs kind of blowing in the wind. Very cool. Love the portrait. Well, now that I look at it, love the portrait. Love the sculpt. Just don't look too close. Okay, thanks again for joining me. Have a good one, again. Prime Collectibles, uh, Prime Doc Collectibles on Instagram and Prime Collectibles on YouTube. Just search for me. Hopefully uh, YouTube will start favoring my channel eventually and uh, you'll be able to find it just by searching. Okay, take care guys.